Oh, hello everybody, welcome to the semi-final of CCL Playoffs. Um, I'm with PTK, there he is on the screen. <laughs> um, there I am, that's life size. And um, so we've got in this game um, two people. One's Dionysian with Dwarves, the other is Quetzalcoatl with Chaos. Um, it looks like Quetzalcoatl has almost given up this half. He's put on three unskilled guys on the LOS to get destroyed. Um, Dio has kept his death roller against all expectations. And uh, yeah, Quetzalcoatl has got a pretty nasty team. Uh, we all probably think Dio's the better coach. No disrespected Quetzalcoatl, just don't know how good he is. And uh, hello, KFOG. And PC, I think, as well has joined us now. Oh, glorious. And hello, hello, everybody. Hello PC as well, let's put PC on as well. Oh, that's the wrong one! <laughs> good evening, good evening. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, Jimmy is a pro for a blood blood streamer, he was playing Battle Buzz five minutes ago. <laughs> yeah, I was! Yeah, I totally forgot this match was on! <laughs> Hello PC! Oh, good evening. Dear. Yeah, I totally forgot this match was on. But it looks like Quetzalcoatl hasn't bothered to play this half anyway. I quite like just giving it up completely. Like, you know, going uh, going about five squares further back than where he is. Um, I guess he can always run there this turn. This invites him onto him, doesn't it? And if, if Dio's really stupid, then he might have run forward and gone into contact. <laughs> so I guess he might as well start here and move back next turn. Yeah. Yeah, the only thing it really gives up is any chance that if a blitz comes, uh, you can do something sexy with it. But against something this solid with a death roller in the middle, very, very hard to do anyway. Yep. Yeah. And it's, it's not like the Chaos has like a ball hockey player anyway. It's just steal it or anything. Do they not? No, they don't even have a carrier, do they? No. It's, it's, a, it's all business. It's uh, pretty weak against elves, I imagine. Uh, with PTK waking, awaiting him in the finals. <laughs> um, but, yeah, very Need good. A, a tackle. <laughs> they, get, they will get a tackle back. Uh, that's a missing next game tackle problem. Ah, that's true. Big feature of this Chaos team is, of course, two Strength 5 Warriors and a Strength 4 Beastman as well. Uh, it's pretty it's pretty wacky. Uh, yeah. And, got, have, again, both have a bribe and Chaos has a, have a wizard as well. Yep. Yep. <laughs> I'm going Fame has the Quet to Cottle. So he's wrestling. plus one on Fame rolls. Um, so there's a, a big, big array of toys for him. A bribe, the Fame. Only one Apothecary on either side. Uh, Rerolls not really receiving that big a priority. Three for each. And of course the Wizard we'll see uh, as and when that hits on these Dwarves. Yeah. Oh, do you know what? For the for the for the for the casting booth, I've actually could have just put a full on a full on picture. Um, look at this. <laughs> it's a bit big. Not a ham picture, but uh, our glorious victory in JFW picture. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I think one of us there is looking very sexy. <laughs> <laughs> it's the bunny, yes, I know. Yeah, it's the bunny. <laughs> Glorious. Okay, so he's pop Kals has popped up a bit. Um, Ooh, interesting. But it's... Yeah, it's it's still a little bit of a mess getting into the video. So it's interesting to see how he tackles that. Yeah. Oh, he's run away. Oh, that diving tackle fucking dwarf. <laughs> Not a fan of diving tackle on dwarves. Cool. Um, it's a, it's a, I could have, I could do with it dying. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty good against elves, isn't it? Um, in combination with all the tackle pieces, he also got that sneaky grab somewhere, doesn't he? <laughs> Yeah, that is. Hello, Star BB. Hello, Kelsey. Um, I can. The thing is, when you first got guard, mighty blows that firm, you kind of have what you need, right? Yeah. The rest is luxury skills. 
I mean, he, he's, to be honest, he was a jammy fucking bastard, wasn't he? That he got card, mighty blow, stand firm, and then rolled the double. Because, on both like, of them. Yeah, on both of them. Because like, if you know, if you if you if you're probably not gonna take it, or you might take it, and he's a bit worse before then. But that's the perfect time to get the diamond tackle, isn't it? Once yeah, got... you don't want to roll. You probably he probably even would skip it if it's any anywhere else in the row. Yeah, I agree. I certainly so, yeah, once you've got those three skills, I mean, there is a big question over where you get value next as a skill if it isn't a double. So, yeah, it's, it's sometimes worth sneaking a kick on as a fourth skill if if you're going to try and line them up centrally. But of course, quite often you want the stand firms out wide. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> what's this? Other, what's this one got? Is this grab? What this other guy? Yeah, that's a cheeky grab in the middle. Yeah. Yeah, um, um, you are rolling light well. on one Slayer, and I'm I'm a big fan of one Slayer builds normally. Um, then a you know sneaking another Dauntless in on one of the beards isn't a bad shot either. No. Yeah, he's got a Dauntless guy. No, and he's uh, and of course because the Wizard and the and the Keegan, where he had all the time in the world, he's picked it up on one of the Blitzers instead. Yeah, yeah. So he's got the uh, runner as the as the. Uh, Insurance and uh, <laughs> the blitz is the bolt bitch. <laughs> yeah, but it's double insurance, isn't it? Um, because it's not only insurance against the wizard, but if there's one player he really, really wants available for the final, it's the ball carry. Yeah. Yep. yep. <laughs> yeah, it's meant to be big, man. This is the this is the best thing about the stream, the the, the commentary picture, isn't it? <laughs> Why would you want it smaller? <laughs> Insane. I think we should just cover the whole pitch with it, and then we'll just tell them what's happening. <laughs> yeah. Like a good old radio commentating, running down the left side. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Trust us, everybody. Something's happening on the pitch. <laughs> As an aside, whilst they decide if they're going to do much this turn, and um, that's the origin of the phrase "back to square one" was radio commentary of football. They divided mm, the um... pitch up into squares, and square one was the bottom left square. Wow. I will imagine we're seeing a blitz ride on the on the on the, uh, on the, on the uh, long beard he marked. Yes. Yeah, it looks like it, doesn't it? Strength six for yeah, the but... blitz. No, he's strength five for the blitz, so he's uh, not getting three guys. We'll run the mark there. Yeah. A mark that really wasn't needed if you're blitzing with strength five. I guess he was it it probably ending there anyway. Right? But yeah, it, what it does do is slightly hem those dwarves in over onto the, the side of the pitch. If they want to go that way, they're going to have to come through a strength five, and that means probably doing it with the death roller. Yeah, it's the same in the other side. You know, besides, if you want to swing around alone. Hmm. Yeah, he's anchored both strengths, both sides with a strength, guys. Bring bad guys. Pretend I can speak English. <laughs> you can uh, whip some more uh, undead in shape. Yes, yes, glorious. Heads for flying. <laughs> yeah, now there is some space to attack down this middle, isn't there? Because there's, uh, first of all, just the naked beast with guard, and then behind it we've got the rather interesting uh, agility to dirty player wrestle guard beast. Yes. It's probably more wrestle guard now than anything else. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if, with a bribe, the dirty player might come into play. Yeah. You could see it do a cheeky foul. Yep. But certainly if there's a space to go in and do some uh, some markings and basing up, that's the place to do it, isn't it? Mm. Hasn't chosen to take the wrestle piece on, but he has... Uh, has no, he got it both now. It was a little bit... Uh, yeah, I, I would be interested, had he pushed through, it, whether he would have gone onto that guard or not. Yeah. I, I suspect he wouldn't. I mean, the way he's setting up, it looks like that's where he wow. wanted to draw the line. And then allow this death roller hit on the uh, on the warrior. Yep. Of uh, course, mm -hmm. that will now be three die on this uh, Chaos Warrior. Yeah, next turn. It's moved. Yeah, it's pretty great, it's isn't good. it? Getting to three guys, strength four people. I enjoy, I enjoyed that with my death roller. It was, it was pretty nice. <laughs> yeah, another match. This with the death roller really can be effective. I wasn't that surprised he didn't cut it. Um, it's very hard to get a claw pom even with a strength four claw pommer onto strength seven. That's still going to take you three assists. Yeah, 
Uh, well, I, I, it's the fact that he was the, you know, he's given away the wizard. That was what made me think that he might cut it. You know, like if he yeah. wasn't given away a wizard, yes, I would, I would always like. I mean, I would always want the death roll on the field against anybody, actually. But <laughs> it's when it gives up the wizard that's when it's that's when it's a tough call, mm -hmm. isn't it? Yeah, like we talked about, you, like even in our game, it it, keep, it was the only thing keeping me honest in my try to stall my yeah. eight turns. Yeah. Was that bloody break tackle and string seven idiot yeah, thrashing around? Break tackle if it isn't marked at the start of the turn can go where the hell it wants. Yeah. And obviously you've got the loner problem. A two will always trash you, but um, it can go into cages. It can go all sorts of exciting places until Blood Bowl 2020 when it won't. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and hello, Tom Smith and Muppet and Skuro and Marzen. Yep. Everybody. Death Roller in 2020 will dodge at agility three. Because it's Dread 7 will only give it a plus 2. Yeah, it's sad, isn't it? It's really sad that it, it gets fucked by. It's sad. I wonder who was crying out an Earthbreak Tackle. Maybe a Dwarf coach who didn't use a Death Roller. <laughs> I, I genuinely couldn't answer that question, Jimmy. It, it, there's so many skills that got nerfed, I didn't quite understand why. Yeah. Shadowing was the big shadowing. one, wasn't it? I'm so yeah. happy Shadowing's got nerf, where everyone knew that was a, a scourge on Blood Bowl. Completely OP. <laughs> now he gets I three damage. Trying to find a reason. Okay, that is the gets the claw hit in and chain three yeah. is warrior free. Yeah, and then warrior three gets the chain. Does he? Is he going down on it? He's got it's surely not. Got got a why why not? follow? Like that's yeah. horrible. Yeah, follow um, but why follow? Yeah. Actually, why follow? Because <laughs> he's going to pile. Oh, that's one of the least cloudy dwarves. It doesn't oh. have to make... So there we go. It's going in. <laughs> ah. Ah. It's a claw pom on just a guard beard, one of the least offensive beards on the pitch. <laughs> and then basing a guard stand firm beard, another not particularly dangerous one. I guess he can use the chips and pieces no matter what. Bang is going to bang. I would say. With a bench of three, I don't know. I might be holding that dirty player and that bribe for something I want to hit. Yes, I, w I, would, I would definitely have uh, followed there in that situation, to be honest. Once you follow, then you're piling, aren't you? That's why you're following. Yeah, but you're out not with follow. We want diving tackle for reasons. <laughs> yep. Does he actually, besides the roller on the pitch, because I think his uh, diving tackle run, diving player runner is uh, sitting in the bench. Yeah, yeah. Darren, the the uh, wrestle wrestle DP is on the bench. So, but no uh, the, 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 uh, besides the roller, yeah, besides the roller, yeah, maybe the roller will get in. <laughs> oh, baby, I don't, I don't mind it. No, Got two assists, bribe. dirty player with a bribe. Let's go. Can he get it? Even can he get extra yeah. assists? I think he's hoping that. Uh, that he can keep the death roller for the second half. Yeah, yeah, that's the thing, isn't it? That's the thing. Now, surely there's a route right up the middle here. Uh, you do have to knock that uh, beast over and ideally stun it at the very least. But if you can, then certainly there's a route to make some progress. That's what I'd be looking to do. Deer, however, often a lot less keen on moving his dwarves forward. Mm. Quite happy. <laughs> <laughs> Hurt some things and then, uh, and then make a mad dash in the last couple of turns. Put these on. <laughs> it's the PTK's uh, catch up plus friends. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The catch water, so it's pretty good. Yeah, I was going to say, particularly against Dio's strength for runner, if he does keep that alive, which obviously he's, I think, trying to do as well as having it there as a whiz proof option if the blitzer goes down. Um, <laughs> PTK for runner against Dauntless Dancer is going to be an interesting battle. <laughs> <laughs> PDK also an enormous purple chest. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, I was uh, quite hilarious. <laughs> oh, amazing. Oh, oh, interesting oh, oh, glitch. I oh, love the way he did a delivery. Yeah, I changed it. Off. And then a completely accidental one about a minute and a half later. <clears throat> he's, he's going to foul that because that, that yes. whole setup is to get an extra assist. Yes. There must surely be because he's going to foul it. I mean, I mean it's it's cool it stops thing. his it stops his guy getting hit as well, doesn't it? To be fair, it was nice. Yeah, it was a nice angle to chain him free anyway. But, but 
it gets the blitzer up and allows the blitzer to move where it wants. So there's there's all sorts of good things. Good going things on. about it, but still, <laughs> yeah, the ball is not moving forwards. And uh, and it's it's Dio. He's he's quite aggressive. Yeah. And that sla sla and uh, that blitzer is not moving. Yeah, the fact that this blitzer hasn't moved yet makes me think it's going to be a foul for sure. No, it's, it's definitely now a foul, isn't it? Yeah. The only question is whether it's coming off the death roller or one of the uh, slightly scrubby guard only dwarves. But as the bench has no guard on it, I don't think he can risk a guard going. Mm. Not too foul. <laughs> what was everybody saying? I'm never foul. That's not true. <laughs> we all think that. I'm, I'm, I'm more. I may be more selective in my fouls than you. <laughs> Big question here is if it gets sent off, does he use the bribe? No, it doesn't. <laughs> Boo. No. Yeah, how, and I know how to receive them as well. <laughs> um, but yeah, I didn't like that pile on. No shit. PT <laughs> <laughs> here pulling no punches as like ever. That pile on, did we? <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> 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 oh dear. I'm not having this attack with peace, so have, a, have fun with it, deal. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, whoever, whoever, it doesn't matter who wins, PDK wins this little exchange of this club, I'm getting fouled every turn. I say, you say a tackle piece, I say the tackle piece, though. And that's still the miss next game, does so, yeah. it? You know, and we cannot get that killed. You um, hear that I. Everyone has sussed, so I can talk about it openly. I don't mind. Uh, Dio taking another play out of my playbook here and hanging that Slayer out, saying, yeah, come hit me. I'm not very relevant. I'm not part of the plan. Please, <laughs> hit me, hit me, hit me. <laughs> yep. But I, do, I agree with you. I think he should have gone through the uh, middle because he, like, he was making these sides strong with his, his strength five, but the middle was weak, wasn't it? And I yeah, would like I'll... to have seen a push up the middle. Four. The problem yeah. there is chaos pulled in from all sides. Um, I mean, they, they were sort of inviting it, weren't they? Oh, 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 just rerolling that. What a basic. And as I said, Dio will feel he can he can make that opening happen in a couple of turns time. He he's uh, not. Well, he's not even oh, he's getting the extra block. He's, he's, uh, oh, he's it's, what? Not even getting the extra block. He's been so aggressive the whole round, and it's defense, especially on his defense. Yeah, you, he's been re-rolling. Left after this, you've got three re-rolls dry. Why would you not use one there, or at the very least, push it onto that wrestle player? Yeah, get that, another that's, yeah, yeah, afterwards. I would have at least pushed on the wrestler. Yeah, that, that was pretty weird to, not to take the follow-up block. I mean, I do quite like not taking the Slayer bait because I think the Slayer was just bait, but but it's not a good foul. I'm, yeah, I know he probably won it, but it's not good. I mean, there's the risk of you push him again and you leave another dwarf in contact, whereas taking the push pushes him away, I guess. Yeah. He can't be fouling here, can he? With a no. maximum no. one assist? No, definitely not. That would be madness. But he's uh, getting gang fouled again. Decisions <laughs> <laughs> from the chaos here. Turn five though, but now does he go down this side, uh, the left hand side here, because he's got. Do you think he's going anywhere? I guess before he is being. <laughs> he will stabilize the cage, foul again. Because both strength fives are in like the same half of the field, aren't they? Yeah. Both on the right hand side. Yeah, and he can hit, and he's going to hit one of them now. Without any doubt. Oof. Oof. That was not the dice he was looking for. No. Four, five. It and also takes a away to the dwarf, but it's. He can. Oof, that's a lot of commitment. I was about to say he can one dice the guard of witness that doesn't have block to get the two dice instead. Or he can go in the other side and do the same. Yeah. Yeah, do this. Yeah, that's two dice instead. That's better. Yep. And then he can uh, chain push. No, he cannot get free then, anyway. But he can push Why himself off a mighty blow if he chooses to, and onto a guard warrior instead. Yeah, yeah, that's quite nice, isn't it? Slight worry here, of course, is the Wiz still, because that's a lot of dwarves now up in that pack, and there are three beastmen on the <laughs> ground. 
This is looking <laughs> pretty <laughs> okay. Uh, he might not even foul now. On the ground, you can avoid. Oh, surely, ah, that's better. He's back fouling. Yeah, he is. <laughs> he's still got a death roll of foul the claw bomb piece, but the ball it's, has some interesting spots to try and get safe here. He's got the guards. <laughs> Just stand behind the guards and hope everything is all right. <laughs> yep. Well, I'm I'm seeing a fireball in the future. I I may be alone. Yeah, but... it could well be a fireball. I wonder if, yeah. You can even lightning it and try and get through the Slayer or the. Fortunately, that stand firm beast, uh, Blitzer is is keeping it fairly honest. So that's why the runner's stepping two spaces back, of course. Yeah, it is. Oh, oh, the greed! Oh, oh. Greed! <laughs> the greed does not pay off. Oh, of course, it's not a thing, it's only down on the ground, but uh, that's a reroll gone, no positional gain. Active, he's not. Looks like he's already activating. I would. Yeah, I think a wizard here is pretty good because you get to completely smash in, don't you? It's like, yeah. it's not like a. It's not like an elf wizard, but like if you fireball the kids there and then everyone else goes in, you know, like you've got your strength five still stood up ready to hit, it's, haven't you? But it's yeah, true. That, that claw pommer can possibly get a nice hit in. I mean, there's all sorts of places a wiz could be useful there. Yeah. Oh, Just and three four. It could also. You don't even need to turn him over. You just need to halt this advance. Exactly. Yeah, I, I would have used it as like a kind of a hammer to stop the advance, with everyone being able to stand up and getting contact and causing problems this turn. Yep. On three on, on the three players in the cage. Yeah, the three players. And four in the cage. pluses. Yeah. Four pluses. Yeah, I, I would. I wouldn't hate that, man. I wouldn't hate that because uh, you, then you okay. can put the strength five in front, can't you? The, the strength five yeah. and the strength four. Um, and if you do fight one on the Blitzer, you've only got to take any one of the two Blitzers and the Slayer down. Yeah. Die, let alone if you get the ball carrier, let alone if you get the Blitzer yeah. on the edge, you can come around with your strength five. I'd, Maybe. And meanwhile, you can tie up all of those beards in the center with the flotsam and jetsam you've got there. Yeah. Suddenly making a lot of progress. Come on. Yeah. Fucking claw pump. It's the boy skill in the game. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I mean, it is, it's a great skill, of course, Claw Pomp, if you add that all together. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, you just rolled five into five. Yeah. Uh, if Claw Pomp, if, yeah, if three skills that cost 20 TV would be pretty good, wouldn't it? Oh, is he? No, surely not. No, he's, he's surely just... stepping somebody up in diagonal in front of that string five now. Well, if he isn't, it's very silly. Good. <laughs> I also think it probably is time to just stand those beastmen up and let them get hit if needs be, because it's all about stalling the dwarves now. Yeah. Dio yeah, is I think, not hurrying forwards, and now he's only got three turns to get that ball over the line, and it's in the hands of a move five piece. Ooh, there's the greed! And a not yeah. even block, and a not even mighty ball coming. No, I think this was more that if. to protect. It's a little bit of a weak spot if that guard piece is standing in front of that piece. Yeah. I think it's just the blocking angle was pretty bad for not getting him down. Yeah, but I mean, it, it, that was pretty bad, wasn't it? Yep. <laughs> we, I'm not, not disagreeing, but I can I can see why he rerolls down. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, I know he wasn't greening it for value. I just mean that he could have greeded one with for a three dice claw bomb earlier, couldn't he? Yeah. Yeah. I think. I that was think but here it's of course now three turns after this and two more rerolls uh, and the whiz if needs be oh, 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 oh. drive can be stopped and it's a kill fantastic uh, we all want to see some actions of deaths difficult decisions do we apoth it it's it's a rowdy piece multi-skill oh, oh, he fails the apple oh, oh, oh. he does throw the bapo in and it does not help much ptk loving it <laughs> it's out for this game and next, so it'll still be there when he wants to roll in the open league. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's good he took with that um, that app off. See, Jeremy, like that. this is looking pretty tricky for for Dion now, isn't it? And he could have had um, up to three players down. So, like, it's good to keep the wizard as well. Like, I'm not saying the wizard was definitely good, but I just think it was worth thinking about. When it sure. didn't look, I don't think it yeah. looked wor worth thinking about, but I think it was worth thinking about. You're, you're saying at least use a couple of, like do, like do what I don't do. At least use thirty seconds to look at the turn first. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. it never looked like it was going to take two minutes. So you can really have a look and think, 
is this my shot? Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah I mean, especially I, it was pretty good for it. I thought that was a good shot to get around the blitzer. Like I said, either blitzer down, and you're definitely in, in golden territory. Get the slayer down; it's still looking like at least a one die. But I have, yeah. right now, I quite like the fact he didn't because I think these dwarves don't get to score if you use that wizard, right? Yeah, and exactly, it looked, yeah. yeah, and I'm, I'm pretty sure his game plan was if he could keep the wizard for his own drive to make sure he yeah. can punch it in against like a stand firm or something. Yeah, and right Plus, now it's looking it's looking bad for the dwarves anyway, isn't it? Like that's the thing. Yeah. So now he's got an insurance against a uh, against a potato and. Uh, yeah. And yeah, on the brother is, uh, is a big fear here in terms of making that ground. Yeah. That's a bit of a hole, though, developing to the left, but he's yeah. running out of time. Could get here. With a bit of a screen. He really could. He really could uh, get quite forward with the screen here. Mm. But then but he, would get, he would get yeah, bolted, though, right? That's the thing. He would get bolted, so. Obviously, it looks good now that he didn't do it, but I, I think that's the thing, you know. Like, I think if you, if you're used to playing elves, you would think this is a shit wizard and dismiss it instantly. But I think in a bash versus bash matchup, there's a lot of value from like kind of trying to blunt the drive kind of thing. Oh, but, but yeah, keeping it for the potato. Yeah, keep keep keeping the ball for the potato because this is a fucking badass player, isn't it? The runner, like you really. Absolutely. It's a great That's way to get this runner down. So yeah, there's a lot. There's a lot in favour of holding the wizard for for a ball. even on defence. That is a player that you need to be concerned about where it is and what it can do. Yeah, and yeah. a cheeky strip ball. Yeah, 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 he's a hell of a player. Of course, the other great thing about keeping a whiz dry as long as you can oh. is it just alters every shape that the opponent can make. Yeah, they constantly. Yeah, I'm not sure. Player. I'm not sure he's going to do it. No. He's running out of it. Players to get with it. And with that uh, wrestle, tackle, mighty blow dude standing in the background. Yep. I'm yeah, interesting to see how much pressure he puts. And as we said, standing those beastmen up, it, it, all it's done is cost the dwarves a little bit of position for the cost of one KO on a naked beastman. I think yeah. that was well worth playing. Paying yeah. that cost. Yeah. It, it is. We yeah. drive even more, oh. and now we have two turns from the end of the half. Yeah, and it was worth waiting. It, it was worth keeping them down before because st stalling them for a turn on turn three or something wouldn't have made any difference, would it? Yeah. So it was definitely the right decision to keep them down till now, and it's the right decision also, to stand them up now. <laughs> it's also yeah, and it and also make it more complicated to cage when you need to take care of three guys laying around in the middle of you. Absolutely. Yeah, same yeah. as the whiz. It's another thing that alters the shapes you can throw. Okay, yeah, he might. It looks like he is uh, going down that side now. He must bring. He this like he's certainly going to faint that way. Um, and we might see the ball stay more or less where it is, but the runner go that direction as a handoff option. Yeah, for yeah. sure. Yeah, that, that makes. And a if lot you're of lucky, sense. you can be in situation into in the overtime where your runner can just run alone, out of range of everybody. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. There goes the runner. So the real <laughs> question now is where the ball go. Central, I think. Yeah, central between. Yeah. Central, yeah. Oh. yeah. The, oh, 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 oh. Over there too. Whoa. He's, he's, he's handing this late move that I predicted he did. Is he not handing off it. back now then? Otherwise, oh, he's got a hand off. Oh, roller, okay. But that's not enough. Oh, <laughs> nice. he's got enough. Oh, dodges through. <laughs> but is that. Yeah, yeah it's all the guard. Yeah, with the roller. <laughs> and of course, even if it fails that dodge, still the body yeah, is fine. The roller closes the gap. Yeah. That was rowdy. But it's still, it? yeah. Oh, uh, I don't see any lovely chains that can get something up in its face either. No, and now oh. I think the fireball would be terrible, right? Now yep. I think it would be terrible because you just haven't got yep. the support for it. Even you know, even if you knocked all four of these guys. No, out. if you could, but if you can uh, knock, if you can take most of the dwarf down or back, and you blitz the guard out in front, and making sure you, one of your guys is in a deep safety. It's still going to be hard to be safe. Yeah. Yeah. The um, I mean, the only sense of the of the wizard here is if you could guarantee, and it's a one in four, so it, there is no guarantee of taking both the blitz around the runner down again. That might arrest this drive. Yep. But he just got a little thin on that side. Dio spotted it and swung his uh, entire drive over to the left. Yeah. That's... <laughs> He's a bit of a mad one, isn't it? Like... <laughs> it's a bit of a mad one. Now, of course, the. Uh... 
the flip side of what we talked about with setting up the standing up those beastmen is now true. Now we have got the dwarves up in these chaos's face, and despite their larger move than the dwarves, there's only actually one down beastman and one beastman free that can definitely get in front of where this push has happened. Yeah. That might be but I've right out on the wing is very marginalized. The Chaos Warrior Diagon in front of him is marginalized too, so <clears throat> very bad position for the Chaos. How they solve this turn is gonna be really interesting. I don't think it's too bad. The string five can get in around the ball. You can take the Gala in front and Kate's kind of case dev roll lane and still have some deep pillars. I think you played rowdy and see how many dwarves you can get down at back and just let him do it to let him do the rowdy potato. But make sure you have a piece that's deep enough that can strong and deep. Said, at this point Ross <laughs> oh, <laughs> tribe looked good. If you can't, actually the scoring isn't the end of the world. It is an overtime game. You've already chipped a very important dwarf. The apothecary's gone. Oh, Death Roller, I mean, the bribe will probably mean it is around for the second half, but that's not 100% certain. That's true. It's about 83% certain, isn't it? Somewhere in that region, yeah. Unless he really goes off on one killing players over the next, <laughs> the next two turns. <laughs> Um, yeah, I mean that's the problem is uh, there's gonna the, the death roll is gonna spend the short turn on the bench. Yeah, un un like unless he kills like a bunch of bunch of yeah, guys. He's at least two more oh, dwarves. oh, oh, he's going for oh, the round of two dice. He got it as well. I don't hate that. Boom! Shake, shake, shake the roll. Oh, boom! <laughs> and then <it> doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. <Wow. clears throat> because now it is to run a potato. It's the only touch. Down or the blitz on the other side. Yeah, now now the now having the wizard in pocket makes this look really, really, really bad for Dio, doesn't it? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now it's about these last two beastmen, if assuming he's staying there, which I think he probably is, isn't he? Um, these last two beastmen, one of which has guard, can they get around the full spot for that beastman? Oh yeah, this is Problem this one of the this eighty two. The guard yeah, piece is AG2, though. The guard piece is AG2, so it's the naked beastman that has to go yeah, over there. Yeah, I think he does, taking the hits and no! trying to speak. Why did the naked beastman not dodge? Anyone Anyone got a reason for that? <laughs> One, know. two, three, four, five, six would have put it two spaces behind the ball, so only the dodge was needed, no go for it. Um, yeah. Eight would have put it in some lovely spaces. Yeah, I think it's basically because you have the ball, so Dio has to actually get him down to get the ball free. Yeah. yeah. Um, because I, I do think... think cock all use there. I think I would have gone for the 4 plus dodge, honestly. He still had the wizard, he still had the, uh, dodge, he still had the reroll, though, didn't he? So 75% yeah. I'd have done now. the 3 plus first, and if that worked, I'd still done the 2 plus as well. Yeah. I don't think there's going to be action on this side of the pitch beyond just some random dwarf hitting for attrition. Yep. Oh, Is and this going guy as well, of course. The scoring one, threat. One, two, three, four, five, yeah. six, seven. The, the, the scoring threat is in. <laughs> well, I mean, that's uh, good sensible play. Uh, and even if you weren't dodging off to try and get something around the ball, and you really, really should have been, um, then something to try and get in the face of that blitzer would have been not terrible either. Yep. No. But I think those beastmen staying either side of this claw pom chaos warrior, I, I don't <laughs> understand that as a call. I think it's... Um, Suboptimal, uh, which I mean completely terrible. <laughs> yeah, we all know that if something isn't completely the best decision uh, possible, then it's terrible. Well, I, I don't see a lot of gain from it. That's the problem. No, I'm uh, just mean in general. Like that, that's generally it, isn't it? That's why people say like you know skills are terrible because it's not block. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> some things are brilliant, but they're sort of okay, and there's other things they gain from it. I don't see any gain from leaving those two beasts from there. No, no, I agree. I also see no nothing to gain from not going for the dodge, because he only had two re-rolls, and yeah. as, uh, turn eight as is Doctor probably the Dogs is, yeah, turn eight, the re-roll's useless, so you've got two turns for two re-rolls. You've got to, you know, to stop him scoring, you've got two turns and two re-rolls, so I think you absolutely yeah. should And if it's a one in nine fail, oh, well, it's a one in nine fail. Your beastman's getting hit by grass rather than by dwarves. I still don't see it as relevant to the action of the rest of this half. Indeed. What are, we, are we going to say? So, so he's blitzing the ball carrier, picks up the ball carrier. Is he dodging out to stop the... Is he dodging the guard piece out afterwards to run with him down to give him a bit of protection? Oh, no? 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 
He's not really cool. owning it. I'm a bit surprised. Uh, can he get up in front and still get two dice with the... Oh, oh strip ball. But still... Oh, oh you oh, lucky oh, motherfucker! Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh my <laughs> lord! <laughs> you kidding me? Well, when you have dice like that, who who needs? You know, <laughs> that could have been. That's got a. That's a gamble. Still, that's got a. Yeah. It could be worse. Yeah, that was a real big gamble. But then I guess it's bad because the both down and the rest of the and three, four, goes five, down six, down seven, eight. Bit. He needs to dodge. He cannot just stay there. No, there's no way he can stay there. I guess he's thinking whether to do the three, two, or the two, isn't he? But reroll, no, no reroll, it's not good. Ooh, ooh, go ooh. for the 3 2. And it's a 2 2, and I it's. Think, I don't think that was worth ooh, it. What's that? Oh my god. I don't think he needed that extra space. Ooh. And it's gone, daddy, gone. He's dead. Uh, he's niggled, which means he doesn't make the final, which, as I predicted, without that runner in the final, that's bleak. Yeah. I'm surely you just blitz it. You, you're <laughs> blitzing three dice that break. break. He done two, <laughs> hadn't he? Oh, he can score. Three, four, he does five, actually. Six, that's. One, he two, could. Three, he could say that he's going for a dollar. We can. One, yeah. Two, three, four, yeah. Five, four yeah. GFIs. Four GFIs. He's in range. Yeah, the one <laughs> over by the blitzer. I would do it later, but I would certainly put something in range. Yeah. And that's a that's a naked chicky chicky standing all of them. <laughs> now there yeah. is another little scenario here. If he can chip one more dwarf, the death roller will not make the second half. God, yeah, he's got two cas already. Oh, and you've got a claw palm up that needs to hit that blitz of surely. Yeah. he's got he's got a claw palm blitz and the claw palm block to go in this turn. Yeah. Now it's I surely like blitz on that really really nice dwarf because it was such a nice dwarf. I would have considered saving it for you know just that sort of instance on the runner, but True. Phew, it, you, know, you can't. You can't always say that's the piece I definitely want. Sometimes you got to think, okay, I need that three piece back. What? What do you mean? What? It's a three dice, and he gets to pile on. Okay. And and I'm not saying he's going for it. Chip, chip any one dwarf. <laughs> he didn't any pile one on. Value. Pussy. Oh, how do you not pile that on? <laughs> you just need one more dwarf, and you get rid of the death roller. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> I guess he's looking at scoring as the thing he cares about, rather than winning the game. But hey, Ooh. I mean that I I don't no. hate as much as no, God's um, on the as two out. He had a bench of trees, so if he can get one, no, yeah, three, yeah, he needs he needs one more out. That's all he needs. One, needs more. one more out. That's all. Oh, I've got to reroll it. I mean, oh, bench of tree. I um, do re rolls for. One, two, three, four, five, the second six, one, seven, eight, nine. Yep. Got to be done. And he doesn't. <laughs> okay, so they both had some uh, some shoddy dice at times. But uh, there is a scoring thread. He yeah, is going to try this. Yes, of course he is. It's only and you should. You absolutely should. Plus particularly plus without your best runner. Particularly without your best dwarf. One of your best dwarfs and your best runner. You need to end this half one nil up if there's any chance to. That's why I probably, with, again, with me, I've been going for that blitzer just to take it out. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I wouldn't yeah. have hated that. And and still, you know... You could have got three dice on it. Yep. Instead. Man. And it's still a piece you could have chipped because you'd be hitting at least with Mighty Blow. But to you not... Have, I think was... You could have hit, I mean, but the same... That claw palmer could have been hitting the blitzer. Yeah, but I, think he, I think he wanted to hit this guy so that he could... Um... I didn't know what he wanted. But... So that he could free up his guy to do that, couldn't he? But yeah, I, don't, I, didn't like it. I, I didn't like it in retrospect because I, I forgot about the scoring threat. But, you know, I'm not playing the game. I would hope I would have remembered the scoring threat if I was playing. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, at the time, you know, when he did it, I'm like, this is great. Three dice, you know, he gets to pile okay. on. Maybe he kills the guy. Then he gets to. Then he gets to. He didn't even hit with a warrior, did he? Then he should have hit I with this warrior. Were, and try yeah. to get another I thought there were ways we could have cleared the slayer there for an attack on this uh, warrior to create the scoring threat. How you then get the ball? I don't. The hell. No, I so think you're. Blitz, I think you're freeing. You think you're freeing up the path to the ball. Surely. Yeah. That's also a defensive guard piece, and that'll easier to cheer. <laughs> Yes. Two, three, four. I mean, it's still going to be a four plus three plus to get to the ball, isn't it? 
Yeah, it's ter it's terrible, but it's better than nothing. <laughs> oh. Yeah. yeah. Uh, back to yeah. So he will get to the ball with the blitzer. Whether it picks it up, whether it can throw it, whether there's anything to throw it to, is all other questions. Well, so you can only solve the one at a time. Us. There's something to throw it to. <laughs> okay, the blitzer gets there. Four plus, three plus, two plus, two plus. How hard can it be? Now he just needs well, to repeat it. Quite hard. He might be better off just passing from the tackle, like in the tackle zone, right? That's going to be uh, a six, six, I'd have thought. With a two, with a six, this isn't a If he can, if he can pick it up with a reroll, that might tempt me, I suppose. If the reroll's still in hand, um, there's not that many. Better routes. One, two, three, four. Yeah, three, five, five six, 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 seven. Being stupid. Five, six, seven. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I think throwing it from there might be the best you can do. Get the ball up, straight up. <laughs> <laughs> That's so ridiculous. Four plus two plus rude. two plus two plus. But again, he he kind of brought it on himself. He couldn't just blitz with the three dice and that ball. The scoring thread. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. Take the scoring thread out. Yeah. I don't care what the dice are, it was there, it needed taking out. Yeah. And as soon as the but scoring thread was neutralized, you also had turn eight to do some claw pomming and try and chip that extra. So either claw. we pass there and we do five plus, three plus, and we got four plus, three plus by the longer pass. I think he's looking at the pass grid right now to yeah. see oh, if it's already it a five. Yeah, so if it's already a five. No, it's a six. No, he should have he yeah. done, shouldn't he? I'm pretty certain he should dodge. That's three five. No, it'd be and now three. Oh, but if it's a six, if he dodges, if he dodges into a six, then he's better off just not dodging. No, I mean, it's he dodging into a five, right? It's into two tiger zones. No, I mean like the range of the pass. You know, like if oh, yeah. if he if he passes yeah. it from one, if passing from one square back is still a is is is, a, is still a six put like mm -hmm. is, is a long bomb, then there's no point doing yeah, the dodge. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he's been counting squares. That's yeah. the, the break was a was a you counting squares yeah. to see if. Uh, the angles make it a little bit harder. Oh, and it's a pylon. Surely, me. this this Stop. will be the. If you, if you don't, I'm I'm gonna write a letter. Is he just yeah, letting it count down to be uh, annoying? It's drama. All about the drama. Oh, five 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 three. Pylon rubbish. Dice have not been that great for the chaos. Um, <laughs> Certainly, Dio. I mean, would never claim to have been diced anyway, but he, I don't think, can claim that. Well, there's certainly two. Like, although they haven't made many removals, the two they've made, <laughs> including a third apple, absolutely devastating, isn't it? It's uh, it's nice to see other people getting a uh, five five plus injuries. <laughs> I don't get me wrong. I think Dionysian is one of the finest blood bowl coaches alive. I think he's very very good. I think he's quite good on dwarves. Uh, but I said at the start of the game, I don't like how late he leaves it to get forward. Mm. And I, I think that 3 Can plus 2 get... plus was a tiny bit rowdy. I'm with Jim. I felt he should have probably done the uh, the 2 plus dodge off and just settled for a potato and perhaps mm. tried to get somewhere that way that even if he got hit down, there were some options. <laughs> but This is a bit... Um, he He's had a lot of success the way he coaches, so I'm probably wrong. One, two, three, four, five, six. If he... I wonder if we're going to see um no. Yeah, Roller's probably coming back, but he does have this blitz if he gets oh, a cast here. Claw bomb. We got another claw bomb coming in. And fails armor, <laughs> and of course we bombing because there's nothing else to do. This is have like watching bomb. the bloody big brother, isn't it? Waiting for five minutes before he announced the decision to file on there you go. Oh it's an iron drink! <laughs> he gets it the death on. I think that's game. If I was Dio, I'd drop the, the last hope here, which no, is... It's, uh, no, because it's turn 8, so it's just the oh, defense. Yeah. yeah, it's turn 8. <laughs> because, it, because Dio didn't score, but yeah. it's still that... It's still a, a guard piece more hard, isn't yeah, it? It's, it's still a good eight. dwarf. Oh, of course, so he has no short turn. Yeah, oh, I'm an idiot. <laughs> but, it's a, but it's the downless dwarf, which uh, could make, make a difference. Yeah, no, it's, it's not the bright casting. No roller it? for overtime. It was the it was the turn we were thinking of the turn after he scored, you know. Not that but he, he didn't score. Run, but he just he no, didn't, he didn't score. score. He didn't chip one on turn seven. But hey, another dwarf out is another dwarf out. Uh, strange. Yeah, point of view, 
there is some good news, which is that the uh, the strength four beastman did not recover from KO. Sorry, the strength uh, five KO uh, warrior mm, did yeah. not come back from KO. So, you know, he'll take some hope from that. I will uh, still he's uh, got the death roller for the second half. He'll take some hope from that. Chaos, of course, it's a still eleven versus eleven. Chaos do have that wizard, so uh, still not a good position. No, they've got the initiative. But they've got two positivity. two guardless uh, things. They've lost their best player. Two of the better dwarves. It's pretty yeah, and it, it, it's the the downless that could do some things on its own. The mm. grab does you know. <laughs> it's some it's some good pieces that's out for the dwarves. Yeah, yeah, but the Anisian, of course, famously does, doesn't have feelings. Uh, but if he did, <laughs> could be a little bit down at this point. Yeah, he's, this is fine. <laughs> this is fine. <laughs> but um, this is definitely a classic. This is fine. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's not fine. I mean, I, I don't think he's going to give up or anything. Obviously, but uh, it's it's rough, isn't it? Yeah, but I mean, we've seen uh, particularly roller dwarves in uh, rough positions before, and still managed to pull it out, haven't we, Jimmy? We have, yeah. He, he needs he needs Quetzal Cortal to shit the bed <laughs> massively. <laughs> <laughs> all, it, it, all it needs to start with a terrible foul, and then it goes from there. Yeah, yeah. He needs him to randomly expose the ball, and, uh, and actually, then, like, we, we made a joke fizzle. about that. I don't know if Quetzalcoatl has seen a Chalice semi-final before, and you know the. Heady heights oh, of nearly a final with the fame and the women and the money that that brings. <laughs> yeah. He, he now that he would quote. feel he's, you know, he's ahead of the curve here. He's in the seat to only fuck this up or win. Yeah. That does bring some pressure. And look, let's let's look at his team, right? He's got two skillless beastmen. He's got two just guard beastmen. So he's got like four players that are pretty crappy. As so, we've said yeah. before, no real mm -hmm. ball carrier here. Yeah, and he's he's down this massive strength strength chaos warrior, so it's not yeah it's not that amazing for him. And, uh, and, and the uh, so beanbag, the auxiliary runner, of course, is a wrestle piece. So uh, anything it can get hold of, it's got a reasonable chance of taking down. Even on red if, dice, you know, there, there's it, reasons it, how this game could still still end up at overtime, let alone go uh, in the dwarf's favour. Yeah, but with a wizard as well. Come on, Mr. Negative. We're trying to be positive here. <laughs> Somebody needs to stop you two before you float away in all rainbows and uh, happy sk hot love I think it's advantage dwarves. <laughs> no, he's completely screwed. But, you know, things have changed. And things yeah, can change. It, it, yeah, yeah, it can easily change. It's blood all. We've seen... Um, we've seen um, Arid's uh, dwarf teams uh, pitch remove their uh, off team before, so yeah, um, more silly things can uh, can happen. We've seen my little dwarf teams make it all the way to the final, past all sorts of monsters. I was still most hilarious was you removing all the orcs. Was the twelve chaos? Was the twelve? Yeah. twelve or thirteen chaos? Just bang them all out, then it's not a problem getting a score in, is it? <laughs> uh, so who, what's to put back? To be fair, though, he didn't stop basing even when I'd taken half the team out, which I thought was very sporting. Yeah, it's, uh, it was not giving up. No, and nor should you ever give up. I was two touchdowns down with four turns left as goblins recently against dwarves. Um, having everything failed in the first half and half of the second half, and I managed to pull it back to 2-1 with only a turn left. The beautiful blitz came. I got a few goblins downfield. The dwarves played really badly, and I scored it for 2 2. Again, a, dwar a draw that feel felt like a win because you should never, never quit. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, Bill Hope, yes, uh, Bessie's team ever. Yeah, absolutely, dog to the dog. It, it can happen. You know, no matter how good your armor is, some days dwarves bring the paper armor and people just roll 10s, 11s, and 12s. Stop playing dwarves. Lesson learned. There is a feeling that uh, Quetzalcoatl is somebody's alt account, uh, but no one has told me who's, so uh, I'm just teaching him, taking him as a new player. Okay. 
certainly he's got a very good win percentage on this uh, on this team and in the 100 games or so he has played in CCL. Clearly not a rookie at Blood Bowl. Now the LOS hit's not going in the way Chaos would be hoping there. Again, perhaps that's the biggest factor here, is can that psychological pressure just build up to the point where uh, the Chaos Chef bed. <laughs> yeah, I would say that was not the dice you were looking for. No, no nice dice there. Can Maybe. Can't carry on the strength for Claw Pommy Beast. Uh, oh, no, he's failed to pick up. It's the naked one at the back. Letting it go, keeping his rerolls dry. I don't I don't mind that at all. I think that's fine. I think it's definitely in the weird. genuine sense of being fine. <laughs> yeah, again against dwarf. It's against elves that are a bit problematic. <laughs> yeah. I mean I, I was looking to see if there was any route for the death roller to get up there and get involved. I think it's just too crowded even for a strength seven break tackle to get anywhere near this ball. Yep. Yeah, you can you can get on, on the outside with the, the, the diving tackle if you want to and mark it. But that's it. And the runner could get it. He might actually do it. Don't. Yeah, the you rowdy route is definitely up. Um, have we swapped over? Are you sorry? Are you guys looking from behind the chaos? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So, so the rowdy the route then is uh, is definitely up the left through this naked beastman or avoid it altogether and try and get some pieces up one two you three four the guard piece. five one go for it and then uh, and then two go for it for the blitzer would attack the guard beast i actually just like going through the naked beast try and chip something try and get up numbers get, yeah get up in that looks like that's the way he's going I, I don't i will not be surprised if he is Going a bit up that side just in case he misses yeah, the pick up. Some pressure rate. on the ball pick up next turn. Yeah. Make sure they use a re roll even if they uh, get the ball in hand. Yep. <laughs> yep. I mean, there are two types of pressure Dio is going to want to exert here. The first is actual pressure on the pitch, and the second is psychological pressure. Mm. Of course, the Wiz just is a lovely, oh. lovely safety valve for these Chaos to be holding on to at this point. Is. Do, you th do you think the uh, death rolls are going to go forward two squares just to take out that claw pommer? And be supported with some guarders? I think you, you need to change how this story is going, so I, I would, Jimmy. Yeah. Um, and with that blitzer tagging up that corner, I think you're right. I think it's going to go too straight forward. But it's tagging a guard piece, so, so it's... Yeah, it's about the hit next turn, if if possible. Yeah. You can create a fail. Yeah, put both dwarves wrong. in. Put both dwarves in. There. Yeah, you need yeah. to be one to stand firm. Yeah, that right. one's going to go in on the other corner. Oh no, it's going it. right into the pack. Yeah. Okay. The yeah, so you can get, get in. Good eye on the uh, big nasty warrior. Get some mob pressure. <laughs> yep. Gets a lovely stun for him there. And now the death roller has to go in too, doesn't it? One, two, three, four. You could even. Could be Rowdy going on the back of them instead. Mm. I was just looking at that, thinking if it hasn't moved yet, that oh. might be what it's going to do. Nice. Oh, of course, that's still an AG5 dodge, but no, just reinforces in the center. Yeah, it <coughs> looks better now that he's got a stand firm guy. But I don't know, uh, I, like, no. I like not doing that. <laughs> but <laughs> but like, it's all pros and cons, isn't it? So it's, it's not like... And it goes, it'll go for it's there. And here comes the runner too. Oh, I see what he's trying. Yeah, he's going for yeah, it. He can't put a re-roll in at this point, can he? No. no. Not for a four plus. That's why I wouldn't have tried the four plus, because it just looks horrible, doesn't it? If, like, four plus, four plus. So I think he had enough. I think he had he's enough pressure up there on. without the dodge. I'd have left the uh, the runner on the outside of that beast. Yeah, yeah, I would have. Still means you have to use a reroll on the pickup. You can't fail it. Nope, Good there's the stun guy. firm look. There's the stun firm getting hit in the That's why it's only a bad they heard. I like That's just standing. That's why I would have put it. Yeah, uh, I, I like standing the claw palm on the, on, on the roller. <laughs> Hmm. Yeah, that's why I'd have put the roller one space to the right as we're looking, and that stand firm one space to the right of it. 
Yes. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And then that that pressures the the guard wrestle guy, so you can probably knock him down next turn, and then you've got a a blitzer in his backfield and stuff. I, I like that. But um. Nope. Yeah. I like that shape. Uh, plus, also the place it makes you weak is right down the middle. And if dwarves, if there's one place you actually want the ball and the pack coming, it's into the middle of you, where you can really get your guard in there on all sides. Yep. And, uh, and try and create some pressure on all points of the cage, because right now that's what Dio's trying to do: is create that that battle and, and win it somehow. Yep. Um, hello, Slim One Two Two One. Uh, this is the semi-final two. The previous semi-final was between myself and K Fog, and uh, you can see it on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> Are you Soon. sure it wasn't purple chest? I'm sure it wasn't purple chest. Yeah, <laughs> he he also had dwar uh, dwarves, but not death roller dwarves. Uh, if I if I recall correctly, my tiny dwarves got taken out by the chaos dwarves. You took out. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. No, he played really well that round. Didn't I thought play quite so well against you? No. He completely shot the bird. <laughs> I think oh. that's a. Uh... Oh, oh, pile, nope. pile, yeah. pile, oh, your pussy. Fuck you. pile, don't, pile, don't pile, pile, your pussy. Don't do it. Don't, don't do it. Pile, don't. don't. No. Yes. yes. On the other beard. Don't no. do it. Yes. Oh. Yes. Oh. Glorious pile. <laughs> oh, it was terrible. Oh, I'm going to throw the card. <laughs> I love that you knew it was terrible, but wanted it anyway. <laughs> Never change, Jim. Never um, change. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, now you've what got is... all sorts of problems with that on the ground. Now you've got a beastman that can't hit that beard. Now you still need to pick up the ball and can't you fail need, it. You need to, you need to move it that uh, guard. Yeah, the guard back. Piece has to come yeah. back to the other side of this runner and give that beast a chance at this beard. And then you need to do the pickup first because it's still a one in nine fail. And yeah. now you can't no. get a second assist on the blitzer, which the other guys. Oh, no, you're just using the. I was going to pick it up with the edge four, uh, the edge two guy. Maybe. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> what can go wrong with this? He's <laughs> it not. He's gonna surely he's dodging he's gonna out. He's gonna foul him. He's gonna guard. foul him. Obviously, he's, he's gonna foul the running. runner. He's oh, he got running. a bribe. He's still got his bribe. Yeah. I don't. I don't That's mind fine. that. I yeah, that was hate a pretty that. nice play actually, wasn't it? That's a pretty but, uh, nice play of the foul. Yep, Bribe's gone. It's out. The ball on the ground will probably still be there, particularly if you take the um, the runner out, which he has. And the, got, the Blitz is still looking a bit rowdy. I don't mind the one dice and the Blitz. This, uh, this naked of... guard has to, has to come out now. It yeah. can't stay there. Why not? And either you reinforce and hit the Blitz either, or you, it comes back. Yeah, you take that one dice. You take the one dice, it's fine. You've got rest. It's oh. two plus. Disgusting. But the, the hit is fine because of the wrestle means if as long as that goes down it's not a problem. Yeah. Even on a wrestle. I that's okay, yeah. I forgot the wrestle. You're, you're not wrong. And particularly with Mighty Blow, it's not the end of the world, is it? It's a it's a two plus. Yeah, there's no, there's no pressure now, is there? With that, with that stun and the no. removal. Got four mm -hmm. re I was about to say you've got three re rolls, you could four re rolls, you might actually be put a re roll into that, but no. Yeah, I but it, it, I'd rather yeah, get it wasn't it. anywhere really bad. It could bounce. There was only the beard yeah. there. The beard, even the beard gets it somehow. You well, got so enough the to track it down. Yeah. Oh, the other blitz. Not on the blitz. I you didn't need to. I think. Yeah, but, exactly. Yeah. But he's still that, that pile on, and the blitz is still terrible. <laughs> yeah, it was awful. <laughs> because now there's the whole open gap in the middle. It was good. I mean, also it was already stunned. It just you didn't need to. Yeah. Yeah. You could have moved that guard in, uh, that player in, and uh, screened off the whole middle of the pitch, which is wide open now. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you can watch the. Uh, there's also the VOD. There's also the VOD Slim 1221. Uh, it'll be on YouTube in like probably a day or two. Maybe it's tomorrow. Maybe it's tomorrow I'll get my, my semi in because I'll just get my semi on. I put the quarter on. Uh, I put the quarter Good night, on. Good some pills there, Jimmy. Yeah, I put the quarter on today, so I'll probably put the semi on tomorrow. The quarter is an absolute cracker as well. If, if you're. You know, if you've got nothing else to watch, watch that quarterfinal. It was an absolute blinder of a game. Oh, thanks. <laughs> and in case you haven't, I'm not going to give away how it ends. Yeah. <laughs>
I did win Except one. you've already said that Jimmy's in the semi, haven't we? So, yeah. yeah. <laughs> not, not, you won't be that surprised, although you will be surprised. Yeah. I think you'll be surprised at how he ends there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it was a pretty crazy one. There'll be a point where you say, well, Jimmy's ah, not the be Yeah, so right up that middle. As you said, the piling on has created some of these problems, which really didn't need yeah. to be problems. And he needs to reroll now because he needs to keep this pressure on, otherwise, has to. Right. Has to. Yeah. Yeah. I can not. The death roller. I mean, really, oh, it wants to hit the central warrior, so it keeps all three of those on it. Yeah, but this open for the. Yeah, this opens the gaping hole, doesn't it, to get the. Yeah, that does leave a huge go gap. And two more dwarves can come all around this ball party. I, I think you're right, Cor. Maybe that should have been time to throw a reroll in. Yeah, just have. just Maybe. make next turn a lot easier. Although there's also going to be a lot of banging on dwarves going on. Yeah, but oh, oh shit, is that a? Yeah. Jamie, Jamie. Dwarves were built to be banged on, though. Oh, Actually, where that play has ended has given uh, Kuetzikotl some nice chain options. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> this game just keeps on giving. <laughs> Why use a reroll when the dwarves will hand it to you? Exactly, yeah. That was great, wasn't it? <laughs> now, is there a way? Yes. Okay. No, there's really. some ways with a. I was, I was. If you get it down, I don't hate blitzing the Slayer with the ball carrier here. Mm. So if yeah, you don't you get it down, you can still build, build a cage around it and move the Slayer on again. Mm. And if you do get it down, you can run up this left flank. <sighs> you can block. I think you do that. No, I think you do this instead. Yeah. 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 However, I'm... you've got enough people there to just hit everyone. Yeah, pretty much. Should be able to at least make something. Yeah. Getting a little bit complicated for yourself there, but yeah, I mean, I mm. he has this guy free as well. Remember on the right hand side. He's got yeah, yeah that's it. Tim, uh, Tim. We, he's got a nice guard. It can come in and drop. Ah, oh, the wrestle, the, 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 the famous wrestle guard. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. So yeah. blitz in with wrestle guard. I might no have what. that there already because again, it's the worry here is not necessarily. Um, it's about it's about you know even a one in uh, thirty six here or something. I mean, it's two one in nines, isn't it? So one in eighty one yeah. with either of those naked beasts. So I I would just I'd have put the other guy around the ball area now, just a bit more security and insurance. The uh, wrestle guard, dude. Yeah, the wrestle guard. Yeah. I, I, this is not the turn ordering I would have loved. And of but course, with that, the death happen. roller is an interesting place where the death roller can just dodge straight off on a two. Ooh, I don't like this. Double stuck. GFI. What the fuck? I did not like that. No. That's uh, rowdy like hell. He's I not didn't moving. Mind I didn't mind the first GFI to fill that hole, but I hated the second one. Yeah. And now he's blocking. He's stunning. It, that we agree on that doesn't have claw, right? That is just mighty blow. That's just mm -hmm. mighty blow. Who needs claw? Okay. <laughs> um, claw. He's blocking Slay. Is he then blocking Slay and blocking the ball carrier? Yeah, yeah, I think he's got to with this plan. Yeah. Oh, it's a dodging with ball carrier. No, he can't dodge. Okay, that's uh, not Whoop. great. Oof. Oof. I need to put it there. <laughs> yeah, no, this is not good. Oh, well. Cheeky little two die there, and then the death roller comes and hits your ball. Yeah, but there's nobody to pick it up, though. Yeah. Still, stage one is getting it on the ground with the death roller next to it, surely. Yes, yeah. Does he uphill the death roller? Probably. If you have to, uh, the problem is you use. If I have to, I might like dodge. Me off it and come round the front edge of it just to keep it away. Uh, I, I think that's better than the uphill, isn't it? Yeah, probably. It's a three either. plus, gets you somewhere I want to be. Yeah. Or you just mm. ignore the problem and stand there. 
That's good too. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Problem pushing it off. I tried that with a leaking shower. I tried ignoring it and hoping it would go away. One, two, three, four. <laughs> it didn't. It, it's a it two-go for it. One, two... One GFI. Dodge GFI. One, two, three, ah, four. Yeah, yeah single yeah, GFI one, two, three, for yeah. some very nice ball dice here. Just gets the blitzer up first, of course. As you said, there's no recovery option, but that could That's be clear. a problem for another turn. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Yeah, he just wants to. You know, if he could stall this out, if he can just stall this drive out, then yeah. he can win the toss, can't he? So yeah, and just get killed in overtime. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's the death roller doing what we all knew it was going to do, except Kowatsukotl. <laughs> Rip. Ooh, but no, no pals. But it, no it's pals. going to be. A, it's still like going to be a, a little bit boxed in. Oh, oh, oh Lona rerolled it. Yeah, I was going to say you have to throw the Lona reroll at that and hope he did. Got the pal. <laughs> Removal would make this very minorly more spicy. Oh, if only you could have caught it. Oh, but that scatter is golden. Mm. Yeah, yeah two, it's two, lovely. Two. Well, I think bed well and truly shat. The question now is, <laughs> can he change the sheets in time to win this game? <laughs> in my. <laughs> It was I don't even hate. Do, do, do you think about building the the fucking death yeah, roller now? Yeah, maybe, maybe bowl you the roller. Bowl the, and then you can blitz one of the other one and get away. At least get that ball in safety somewhere. Yeah, bolt the roller. Surf the slayer. Bolt the roller. Surf Just the slayer. Blitz that. All and get horrible. And um, then get I it. think what I would do is blitz with the uh, warrior that should have dodged and didn't onto the beard next to the ball and probably try some ball bouncing. No, I don't hate this. No, I don't hate that, but I didn't I know it's not sexy. that last turn in any way. No, I, I think you would... I still think the dwarves have got no real chance here, but it's this is what Dio wanted. I think that wasn't... That was a poor last turn from the chaos. Bad decisions yeah. all the way through it. I do think we see the blitz on this beard that's marking yeah. the ball. Yeah. And if you get it down, you don't even need to bounce it. Ooh. Need, oh, oh, no. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Right that, really. Pop the re-roll yeah. in. But he's got no re-roll for the pickup. Nope. And no one with sure hands. No ball carrier of any kind. Ah. Ball carriers are very 2020. <laughs> now, at least he's put someone in as a safety, but I would have preferred it also marking the guard beard there. Yeah, me too. Yeah. So I'm not sure that's the right square. Maybe he's going to move another guy. Yeah. Maybe he's going to move another yeah. guy. Yeah, he can move another one. Nope. Nope. Getting a three D for his claw palm. That's all right. Creating hopefully a space that, be... that the death roller can't get to. If and... he, uh, <clears throat> he can take this bit of blitzer out, he can advance out of death roller range. And let let's put it away. That one, two, three, it's... four, five, six. Whoa, just about... okay. out, out. And a kill. Out, with with but. Wow, that's is that the last second yeah. last AG three on the pitch, isn't it? We're now down to the only one AG three piece for the dwarves. Where's and the run? Huh? Run us out as well, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's the thing. That's kind of why I didn't really hate the three dice. It was because it was the one of the last AG three pieces. Yeah, yeah. And it means he gets to sideline cage, doesn't he? If he makes this yeah. pick up. Yeah, it, well, no, he can't because the death roller just needs to roll a six on oh, either of his yeah, pitches. Yeah. One, well, he, two, marked. three, four, five, he six. Could he could have sideline caged if he'd moved this guy to the right square, basically, because yeah. he could have uh, he could have put some okay. two squares no, in front of him. Still the wrong square. There. Should have been marking the death roller and the beard. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and now it's Bol Bingo. Bol Bingo is on. <laughs> So if it had been in that square, not obviously in the route out, but the square between the death roller and right in front of where the beard is down, yep. then if you had picked up, you could have sideline caged and it would have required two dodges. But I still would have, oh. what I would have liked to have done would have... Uh, oh no! Oh, no, no, no! It's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's got jokes. It's Joker, oh it's Joker and it's blitzing. It's Oh, bounces oh. into yet another catch. It's the it's elves. We're seeing just elves everywhere. 
<laughs> I have nightmares like that where I see elves everywhere. <laughs> What's that the piece he started with trying to pick up with a long time ago? <laughs> no, no, he's, he was going for the three. He was going for the three SPP rookie. That's where he wanted to do it with. Oh, uh, he had a guard down there to begin. And then the, the uh, guard ended up picking up, and that's why he didn't really uh, want to yeah. score on the three SPP. He wanted to give him to give oh, him and having for taglers it. around the corner. Nope, nope. Maybe, maybe he he really roll. Yeah. Oh, it's there. Yeah, there it goes. Yeah, he's got two, hasn't he? But that's so much guard now. He might actually be able to get the death row to find it. Yeah, it looks like it. it's looking really tough. Now, isn't it? Oh, and I know that, that seals it. Yeah, Good night. Yeah. Yeah, just needs one more assist in on this death roller to get two dice on it, which you've clearly has so much guard. Yeah. But then he also needs to take the blitzer down there. The blitzer does need a power on it. It's stand firm. Yeah. He's got a wrestle though. He's got I the wrestle there to three dice him yeah. as well. Yeah. yeah. If yeah, the death roller just, just goes down. Left, that's the problem, isn't it? Yeah, he's, he's got so many men and so few dwarves. Yeah. yeah, there's so much chaos. Yeah. yeah and so many of them are mobile. And death roller going down yeah, there. Really yeah. Yep. We're going yeah. to see a dead death roller? Maybe. Be nice, no. Surely, <laughs> if it's good stand firm, he's surely Pile. not a... No. No. Pile. No. Pile. Pile yes! 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 <laughs> yes! <laughs> Some people just can't help themselves, you know? <laughs> Fucking hell. What is this? <laughs> and he's not blitzing with wrestle. Whoa, I do not like that. He's blitzing with awful too. Although he gets well three dice. To me. Yeah. Well done, buddy. But, <laughs> but why are you not doing that with wrestle? You, you've got your mighty wrestle piece standing just there. It's mighty blow as well. Banger, that would have been, banger, that would have been a banger, 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 Absolutely Madness. fine, it all worked. Yeah, you couldn't He's got the guy come around. with it and shield the ball, or they can just make sure he hits things, which <laughs> I'm gambling is what they do. <laughs> no, no, he's yeah. the ball has a friend. <laughs> oh, and more one. <laughs> more so I think he probably shouldn't have even made that block in case it was a double schools, but <laughs> it's clock on. I think particularly <laughs> that one with the warrior at the end. Yeah, the warrior one, no yeah. no need for it. Yeah, yeah. The others I thought were fine, but I thought that warrior one just... And actually, if Dio does fancy two rowdy dwarf dodges, he's just made them easier by advancing that warrior. Yep. Um, yeah, well, well now the at the end has made yeah. them slightly harder again. Yeah, no, that's yeah. a nice square. One more's even better. Okay, that'll do. Oh, fucking hell. What is he doing yeah. to us? <laughs> now it's a 4 plus, 4 plus, 3 plus to get one guard on it, and then a. Um, no rerolls. Oh, 4 plus, 4 plus, 3 plus to get. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, another one on it, and nothing that can hit it. It's This is done. Yeah. We are we are facing a Chaos versus Wood Elf with one turn of final. Yep. I say it's done. <laughs> We've seen yeah. this sort of thing weirdly go wrong from a position like this before, <laughs> yeah. but I just I can't to... see how you shit this bed again at this point. <laughs> yeah. I would say this one is even, like, if you can mess this one up. Yeah, there's a special prize for you. There's a special place in hell for you. <laughs> I guess biggest joke, the biggest you joke know. in Blood Bowl history, I think we'd call it if you mess this up from here. <laughs> just advance the ball right now. Just, look, just keep everyone happy. <laughs> Stop making my blood pressure go up by considering anything other than advancing the ball. Don't! What are you? <laughs> I was trying to push it away so he couldn't dodge out and hit it. Yeah, I know. Oh, that wasn't bad. <laughs> no, I like it. That was a bit my plan as well. Push it, dodge out, what? And red dice and all carry because it Yeah, it was the only way. One, two, three, four, five, six. And even then, you'd have been. Um, you couldn't bad. hit the ball. It would have been. Uh, In the next guy, right? Try on the ball's friend. Yeah. <laughs> so the ball does go <laughs> forward. Hurrah! Yeah. This true. is officially now over. There is no route now. Yeah. It's been spoiled a couple of times. Yeah, it has. Yeah. Well, I mean, I say that if we got 
some pushes or some both downs on this one dwarf that is up. It could dodge out and try and create some backfield pressure on an early score, but realistically, there's no hope. It's done. Um, this is not fine. Yeah, well, it looked like it was going to be a 3-5, which would have been better. Yeah, if you dodge back worth instead of a 6. Yeah, it looked like it would have been a 3-5, but I thought it might not have been. Like, I, Obviously, I don't know the range rule off the top of the uh, by heart or anything, but uh, why don't uh, you have 3 dice, honestly? Come on, that's not just like not making this 3 dice. Come on, man. Um... I mean, if you're uh, right, okay, I'm going to be kind and say that, that because this is already done, not making that a three die, you, you can psychologically you've dropped off your edge a little bit, haven't you? You know you've won, you know it's done. Yeah. Um, I yeah. guess I can. Um, there's nothing. You can tell me if anything interesting happened. I'll uh, jump back and see that pass. <laughs> Doesn't seem like. No, Dale it does said work. it's a six on the pass if you touch back. So there you go. Yeah, like that was the thing. Like obviously, I don't know. I'm pretty that. sure that as well. That's, <laughs> so that's why that's why I thought. I mean, I I called it first, saying you probably might just throw from the from the square because you did. Uh, I didn't like the dodge through. I thought it, if it was you know it was a five plus one, two, three plus three, to get four, to a nicer throw, and I, I think probably the naked six is better with a re-roll in hand. Ah, yeah. oh, for a brief moment I hoped he might actually score it and give DO2, that would have been fun. <laughs> One. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four. N if it's the right grid, it's a... F no, that's just a long pass, do you? Oh. Nine, nine, and four, nine and four is a long pass. And I just spoiled back, it's nine and four. Ooh. So Volker's right, it's 9-4. So there you go. Which is a long pass. Was a misplay from uh I don't know what did he actually roll anything with me. <laughs> I think it, I think the dice came up that it would have worked. <laughs> I've got a feeling. Dice do work but like that, of course. Yeah, of course. Not no, no, but it's It's just fun, Lunky Girl. Yeah. It is what it is. Was it 5-5? Five, five? Yeah, so it would have worked. Let me count again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 9 and 4. Yeah, Percentage five. lovers, just to make the throw, a 6 plus is 16% of course, and 30.5%, uh, 16.6% and 30.5% with reroll. Yep. <laughs> And it was 5, five dodge, yeah. Followed by a 5 plus pass. It's 22.2% and 44.4% with reroll. Yeah. So it would have been better to dodge back one and throw. And it, it's and it at least made the pass. Yeah, this is fine. We now want to. Inso no, uh, wasn't working. This is fine, now we one turn. <laughs> this is not fine, this is over. Yeah, maybe. I mean, that would, make sense. would give us an interesting moment. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> no, it wouldn't. Yeah. But... yeah, no, it wouldn't. But... And hence, Dio didn't even set up for the riot. Yeah. No. Not bothering doing any hitting. Obviously, he wants core stopped from winning. <laughs> yeah, whoa, controversial. <laughs> Not trying to help Kfog at the end. <laughs> I, I don't think that's controversial. I think Dionysian would rather that Quetzalcoatl won than Kfog. He, uh, <laughs> he would love to be the first person to hold both a chalice and a fumble major. And of course, if if Kor does win the final, he will be the first person to have those two titles ever in the history of Blood Bowl. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Roll, the roller final. It's a, it's a shame that both the rollers lost, isn't it, in the semis? But there you go. Um, yeah, obviously, you know, commiserations, Dio. Congratulations to Quetzal Cordell in the oh, final. Oh, and he got, and he got a skill and MVP. No, and he's got no ball carrier to take on K Fog. So now, while we've got uh, two decent coaches and a loudmouth. Um, 
Yeah. What do we think of uh, naked beasts taking guard first? <laughs> Who's the loud now? That's no way to talk. I about wasn't going to define it, Jim. I was going to leave that to the audience to make their minds <laughs> no, up. It's no way to talk about PTK. <laughs> 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 That's how I meant, and I think you know it. Um, <laughs> no, I mean, you are two of the most experienced coaches on Blood Bowl 3, and two of the finest coaching minds I've ever seen play the game. So what do you think about taking guard on a naked beast? Is that how you would build Chaos teams? I've done it in the past, to be honest. I've done it in the past. Uh, the, the team that I built for a joke in Fumble did that. <laughs> it certainly it, it did prove quite effective. Yeah, it, it it does it does the job. It, like you know, like that's a lot of people say blocks the best skill in the game, but guard gives you a lot of bang for its buck, doesn't it? So like, um, yeah, and you got eight of them. <laughs> yeah, it's I, I I don't I don't I genuinely don't hate going guard first. Um, Certainly, it gives you if you don't have a ball carrier. I mean, it gives you some defense against things leaping in. It uh, if it does does mean if you come up against one of the other. Bashier teams. I mean, dwarves are likely to have a guard wall. Orcs are likely to have a guard wall. Yeah. It, it sort of slightly eliminates that problem at the cost, of course, of some one in nines and uh, and getting banged on uh, if they get the, the both down. That's, yeah. uh, it's interesting. interesting. Looking at, looking at his team, if you haven't moved stuff around, so he's been going magical first on like three of them, yeah. and then he's started going guard early on the next ones. So yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, like yeah, once you've got that core of hitters, hitters. then yep. then just a rookie, like a rookie having block is not bring, it's not adding much to your team, is it? Whereas the guards adding a lot to the team. Like guards better for the team and blocks better for the player, isn't it? Basically. Yeah, table leg. The person that told you always MB first, um, they're not your friend. <laughs> he might take your hands. He got a, he got <laughs> skills and one of the guard pieces. He might take your hands. You know, no. Yeah, he could do. He could take your. Yeah, hands. I think I might be tempted. I don't know who else he carries on against. Uh, the the only problem is, of course, I do have. Like, the problem is, of course, it still goes down on everything else. Yeah. yeah. It's still a four, just a four plus sack. Yeah, yeah but it, it's not just it's a lot sack, better. It's about the recovery, the turn afterwards. Yeah, yeah. it is better. Um, I will take sure hands if it was him, but. <laughs> exactly, Chelio. And yeah, and like. Yeah. The, 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 the other Tell thing everyone else to take guard first, and then you take MB. <laughs> Um, that could be quite successful. <laughs> yeah. Right. Anyway, I'll wrap up the video uh, for the YouTube. So thank you very much, PTK. Thank you very much, PC. Um, thank you very much for watching, everybody. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.